And now we'll set up the actions on the player controllers class. We, uh, in a recap, we have in the last video set up the command box, and we have the different actions for cat, pick up, talk to, use, and walk. And if I go on top of an item, I can identify that that's a hammer, and then I can look at that. And now, when I click on look at, I want my player to actually uh, do something. Uh, related to looking at an item. So I will start by going to my uh, player. Oh, it's gone. Save. Go to my player control script. And I'm going to create some additional variables here. I'm not using this ray casting point variable. Let's remove this. I'm going to create some action player action variables. We'll start with some references. I do need a reference to the cursor status. So, uh, cursor status. Then I will need a reference to the command box to the command text controller. This is called command text. And let's think. We also need to keep a reference to the target item. And the index of the action used to click on the item. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll down to my update and when I click, so if I click on the screen, I'm going to add the check if we're clicking on, <coughs> on a System. Oh. Event. So I'm going to check if we're clicking on a canvas. System. Dot current. Dot. This point or random object. So return. Then I'm doing the ray cast. And after I set the nav mesh path, I am actually first checking if my raycast hit dot transform dot compare tag item. So if I clicked on an item, my nav mesh agent will actually calculate a path not only to my raycast hit point, but to transform game object we're going to get component item controller dot item item dot target map point transform position that's that's a mouthful but so what i'm doing is if i clicked on an item i'm not going to go to the item position because you may have noticed that our our player Oh, now, now it's going to change, but when, when we were looking, when we were clicking on the hammer, the player were going on top of the hammer, and we don't want that. I wanted to go to that, uh, to the nav point I've set. So that's why we're doing this. And next we will set the target item to my request hit transform game object. Okay. Now, if I haven't clicked on an object, I will just do the calculate path as we were doing previously and the target item is null. Okay. 
good. And also here, I will define that the action clicked is cursor status dot current cursor status. Then on update, this is it. And what we need now is to do something once we get to to the object, once we get to the end of the path and I finally arrived on the object. So I'm going to go to my move script. And over here, when I get to the final of to the end of my path, I will check if target item is not no, meaning if I have actually clicked onto something, then I'm going to create a act upon target function. And we're going to call it act upon target. And over here, we'll start just checking just a good safe side. If target item equals no, I'll return. Otherwise, I'm going to get the item controller component from my target item because I'm going to need some information from it. And then I'm going to switch on the action clicked. And actually, let's just copy it from the command text controller just to make it easier. Okay, and over here, what are we going to do on each one of them? So if we were just walking, we don't have to do nothing. I can simply remove this case. Doesn't matter. If uh, So let's do look at first. And let's check if item controller dot item dot look at text. If it's different, if I have some text set to show when looking at this game object at first, I'm just going, since we don't have our, or our text box on top of the player yet, let's just print, let's print look at plus the look at text just to make sure that this is working now for uh for the other for pick up talk and use let's leave it blank for now let's let's worry about look at and make sure that the whole logic of handling of uh handling the item is working so let's get back to my player because we have some variables we need to set now there is the cursor status, which is on my game controller. And then there's the command text, which is on my command box canvas. Let's press play. And the first test I can do is if I click to walk on the hammer, I now, as you can see on the scene view, I'm not walking on top of the hammer, but I'm walking to the navigation point that we've set. So let's just walk away. So I'm going to now look at the hammer. I clicked on it. My character is going towards it. I went to the navigation point, And if I go to my console and see the debug, I have look at it's hammer time. Should I pick it up? Which is the text from our scriptable object. So, okay. So we have the first action. We have look at working. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the text box on top of our character and add this controller so we can show this text here on the screen instead of on the console. 